Hello everybody, welcome to this flick through video. I just started it then and then somebody just at the bottom of the stairs shouted, are you in? Like bang on like one second in. Um, I hope everybody's okay. I had a great week. I went to a couple of gigs, saw the Heavy North, that was great. The lads played a fantastic gig, it was good to see them. Um, of course, we had Claire playing here, which was immense. Thanks to everybody that's come in. We've got uh, Sun Zoom playing on the, I can't remember the date, last Saturday of October. That's something like the 28th, 29th, maybe. But anyway, so um, posters and announcements come out of that. Come and collect Claire's new album, that's here, available in the shop. It's excellent, it really, it really, I've not listened to all of Claire's back catalogue, but I've listened to a lot and this is really phenomenal. It's really already one of my faves. Come and have a listen, support local music, please. Um, I went to see Godspeed You Black Emperor. I'm sure everybody watching this video is well versed in Godspeed You Black Emperor. It's symphonic rock stuff, kind of ambient building stuff. You wouldn't expect it to be to work at a gig. It was really excellent. That was at Manchester Academy. It took me back to go in there in like the 80s. And I remember going to see, you all know, my, one of my favorite bands, this band, Supporting Living Colour. I don't think I got into that gig. I think I just thought, I was, yeah, I'm gonna get on the guest list and I don't think they were famous by then. Couldn't get in. Right, but yeah, Godspeed you Black Emperor. So what I wanted to show you was, we don't just like stock, you know, the normal standard stuff. We, we got everything that you'd expect from a record shop, yeah. Elton John's and your, you know, Michael Jackson's and your Madness, your Stevie Nicks, your Queen, your Sex Pistols, your Rod Stewart. But I, I stock all the stuff I really like. You've seen on the walls, got all sorts up there. We've got Bad Brains. We've got Primus, we've got Faith No More, we've got a little bit of Word Jazz, Ken Nordine. Explore Ken Nordine, Word Jazz, honestly. Just look it up. Colours, the album colours. Look that up if you want something funky for the weekend. But also, Explore, Godspeed You Black Emperor, and they're immense. I mean, I've got a couple of albums in their first album, the most famous ones, really. Their first one there, that comes with all sorts of bits, posters, and crushed coins when they do the recording, where they record. This is their most famous album. Don't have to buy it from me, just listen to it. It's great stuff. Right, let's get into it. All right, got uh, typically tons of records. There's no way I'm gonna get through this in about, in about six minutes, as you'd expect. So buckle up or turn off, you know, have a cup of coffee. New in, what have we got? Got loads, I've done, I've got loads of albums, collectibles as usual, got a load of sevens. I won't go through them all, but I'll split some of them to kind of collectible indie. We've got metal and then we've got all the others with the greatest ever band, better than Steely Dan. Okay. All right, so we've got a bit of Edgar Froese. I don't know if I've, if I've been for any of this, forgive me, because sometimes I, I, I go through it, price it up, put it aside, um, and then I forget maybe what I've been through. So we've got Edgar Froese, obviously Tangerine Dream. Got some other Tangerine Dream stuff. This is original press on clear vinyl. More Tangerine Dream, red vinyl. I've got a load of dub poetry in, if you guys remember that. I've gone through this, got another copy of this. Um, it's not as, not as in great condition and the price reflects that as the first one. I kind of did a part X on somebody who kind of upgraded. So quite willing to do that, but obviously, you know, the deal has to be, uh, has to suit me, really. Anyway, so I've got another copy of this in, perfectly playable, a little bit of background crackle, fantastic. A couple of Faces albums. If you know your faces, you know this album. Uh, the face moves, doesn't it, on the back? I oh, can't get it to work. How do you do it? Got to show you now, right? You all want to see it. Okay, yeah. Perfect for frightening everybody in the mid seventies. I mean, Rod Stewart would frighten everybody in the mid seventies. But there you go. More faces. This is one of my fave faces albums. I think they think it's their best. Buzzcocks singles. Oddly pricey. These albums now. But still a great collection of their singles. Bit of Jimmy, Band of Gypsies, really. We've got quite a bit of Jimmy in some collectible stuff as well. Jimmy stuff is generally quite collectible. Um, bit of Sabbath compilation, that's a bit of an unusual compilation, 20th anniversary. Got a load of this kind of hair metal stuff in. Um, some of it's great, some of it is not great. But you know, look at that fashion, love it. I mean, that's what I really wanted to look like when I was 18 and, and I mean, this guy's got it all going on. He's got the leather, he's got the, the denim sort of jacket, sleeves cut off. He's just missing a few patches there. This guy's not trying hard enough. 
this guy knows what, what it's about. This guy buys a lot of hair products, I think. Anyway, moving on. Steve Hillage, I think this one is clear vinyl, original press there, that's, that's a nice press in. More television, the band you have to absolutely like, it's against the law not to. Uh, Marky Moon 12 inch, Pete Hamill, a real, that's a um, blue charisma pressing, second pressing, not a first, a bit more of this hair metal stuff. Got um, Lizzie Borden, I think I've got a couple of these, yeah. Can you see? In the light. Sorry, I'll try and keep looking at the screen so you can see. I'll lean them forward. Lizzie Borden. Stage dolls. A bit more pop stuff here. Tears for Fear songs from the picture. That's a that, those, these, those are going to... There's way you can move. I'm going to reprice that. That's nuts. I, I don't know why they've become so collectible. I think that's just like the internet gone mad. Um, they should be a lot cheaper than that. Load of bad company albums. All this is again from that collection I got a while ago. They're all in basically mint condition. I think dude bought them, not played them. So they're all original by company albums, all really reasonable priced, all around 15 quid because they they look unplayed to me. Load of them. Right, I'll try not to go on about this. For those who know me, they know how much I love this band. Let me try and summarise as quickly as I can of the greatest punk rock record ever made. 1966, I think. Yeah, 1966. Story is, American GIs leave the army, form a band, decide to call themselves the Monks, shave off the top of their heads to look like monks, write songs called Shut Up and I Hate You. I mean, how punk rock is that? 1966, 10 years before so-called British punk. That whole American kind of garage punk scene, they're by far the best punk rockers and there's other bands out there, isn't there? Um, you know, one thinks of like the Sonics, for example, but this is just immense. You don't have to buy it. I try to keep a copy in stock. Just listen to it. You don't have to buy it from me, but that's that's immense. That's not an original, by the way. An original one of them is about twelve hundred quid. That's just a repress. Other original punk rockers, a bit of ABBA. Oh God, I'm, I'm, you can tell I just stock records that I love. I love Grand Funk Railroad. They are just one of the best of that genre. I mean, just look them. I think I've posted some videos, but I mean. You know, no one wears satin pants. Satin pants like the Grand Funk. They're immense. Um, bit of Who, Greatest Hits album, nice and cheaply priced there for Christmas. I said it. Sabbath, Greatest Hits. This one looks unplayed. Great tracks on there. Some brilliant Steve Gadd drumming, as you all know. I've got, I put this in. I've got a load of kind of like late fifties, early sixties. You know, trad jazz, even some modern jazz stuff. Um, some British jazz, not the collectible stuff, more the, the kind of early stuff. And it's all it's all in the shop here, so pop in and I've got a good selection of those to have a look. Bit of live Donna Summer, UB40, greatest hits collection. I've also got UB40's first one back in stock with the 12 inch signing off. Shalala, small faces. I've got some really, this is all bands I love, you can tell, aren't you? Maybe not journey that much but there you go the journey coolest cats in town i mean no one can wear millinery quite like as well early billy joel I remember waiting for this album to come out and just being like was well, that it because you'd had like sparkle in the rain new gold dream and then you get street fighting years it's a rubbish cover as well but i still went to see them about three times on that tour diana that's 1980 Bit of Gary Moore. 12s, you know, I've got a load of 12s in, got some collectible ones, just normally they're about £2.50. Giorgio Morodo, Chase, this is the theme from um, Midnight Run. If you've never seen that, it's a great movie, but also the music is really good. I always thought it was a bit misplaced on that movie, really, but the music's immense, and that's from that soundtrack. No idea what this is, but the dude looks like he's enjoying himself, so put that in. The greatest Steely Dan album ever made. Got some Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, these original textured sleeve on that. Again, this is the textured sleeve, British. It's Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young with the uh, picture on the front. NEMS, Sabbath. NEMS being the label, it's on a later press. It's still quite collectible, but the first presses of these are just nuts, aren't they? But this is much more affordable. That's going out. I mean, absolutely bog standard. You have to have rooms in, don't you? I've also I've got loads of Fleetwood Mac in, Fleetwood Macs. 
earlier albums as well, and I've got some of the later ones, Field Mac, Field Mac, Rumours. Some nice first pressing pink rim Cat Stevens. They're in good condition. T for the Tillerman gatefold with the nice shiny sleeve. Oh, you can you hear the crack, you know, it's just been kind of in laminate, just been folded over for a while. I'm not sure if I went through these last time, but these are not original, these are represses on the Ed Cell label, I think. Um, but just if you're into Bob Dylan or any of that folk scene, there were many more artists around at the time. Phil Ox being one of the most respected. So I've got a couple of Phil Ox in. Um, really, really good. If you really want to get snobby, just, just get yourself some Woody Guthrie. Uh, anyway, a um, bit of jazz. We've got a bit of Love Supreme in. Another Saab comp. What else have I got here? More ABBA. Queen Queen, great album, Queen Queen. Um, Abba Greatest Hits, Volume 2. Look, I've got tons of Bowie. Just cast that one. Just take 10 p off the value of it there. Um, got loads of original Bowie, all in pretty good condition actually, so all going out. A lot of it's out to be honest, but be adding some more to that. UB40 first, that's got the 12 with it. Gloria. If anybody is in Crosby and went to see Ferris Bueller's Day Off, then um, I got some of the music from the soundtrack to it. So we've got the Zig Zig Sputnik, we've got Yellow, Oh Yeah. And despite this, no songs being... The band were on the soundtrack, but this is the album that you want to get if you're going to get some big audio dynamite. Right, where are we looking at? 11 minutes. I'm definitely going to keep it below 30 minutes today. So relax, everybody. If you want a toilet break, press pause now. Okay, welcome back everybody. Right, disc cogs. These are the collectible ones going on the cogs. This Donna Summer is oddly collectible. I've not done this very well because I'm trying to use both arms here. But that's a collectible Donna Summer one. That's a bit weird. It's just a 12 inch and it's rubbish. I played it yesterday, it's dreadful, but it's a later remix, but it's seemingly super collectible. Motley Crue there. Absolutely pomp pompous nonsense, but amazing. This is great. This is, I remember this coming out at the time. I love the Black Rose and got this album, but hardly anybody bought it on vinyl. And there you go. That is in really nice condition. Near mint, really all over. Super collectible. Good copy of that. Commitment again on vinyl. Nice and collectible. Good comp. Faust. So I can get my arm in the way. The Faust tapes. Original there. We've got a bit of Sparks. I think I mentioned I've got loads of Sparks and loads of free, and I'm just getting through it and pricing it all up. Star Wars soundtrack. I do have somebody who comes in and buys my Star Wars soundtrack, so I can't remember who that, the name of that person is. And if it's you and you're on there, then reach out and I'll keep it aside for you. That's original 1977. I think I've, I've put this one in before, but um, Dennis Wilson, I'm putting it back in here to tell you that we've got it in. It's just amazing. This is a, a repress of a slightly cheaper copy than what you'd normally pay. So come and grab that bit of collectible vanilla fudge, doing some nuts cover versions of Windmills of Your Mind. It's prog, non well, it's not really prog, it's sort of garage rock nonsense. Really nice UK first press of physical graffiti. Got the, all the inner sleeves, the inserts, it's in. It's been kept really nice. These, the sleeves normally go quite badly on these because they're perforated. That's in pretty good condition. Specials, Queens of the Stone Age, a, original press from the time, but what they did was a lot of these were kind of unofficial whatever that means so got one of these from the time that's just a black vinyl version and an advanced promo if that be your thing all right so that's some of the some just some of the new stuff that's going out got an absolute ton of singles i am not going to go through them all because this is just a selection of them you can see all the ones that are over there there's loads but look let me give you an idea and if you've looked at some of my posts you can see what some of them are so we've got high school works that's the debut seven. Dexies, debut seven. They're all really nice condition. So we've got a couple of Dexies. Got a load of Bowie. Absolutely loads of Bowie there, all going out. A load of Susie. Um, similar with, with Elvis Costello. That be your thing because they're sevens they're all pretty reasonably priced 
Um, teardrop explodes. I just can't stop singing. You know, ear. You get an earworm. That's mine today. Sisters of Mercy. So get, get your flower out. Sisters of Mercy. And Frank Zappa. No, rather Frank Zappa. Seven years before. And then a load of other pop stuff. A load of other stray cats. Um, police, pity this, John Fox. If that's your thing. Um, Blamange. Kirsty McCall, Dead or Alive. That's the camera. All right. So, uh, what else have I got to mention? I've got my little list here. Things to mention. I think that's it. I think I've mentioned everything. So, thanks everybody who came to Claire. Trying to keep away from the window. I realise there's a lot of shine. Thanks everybody. Thanks to Claire. And thanks to everybody who came. Who's, um... Who saw that gig? It was it was great in the PA. You got a little PA in the shop that all worked really well. Just also, you know, I took a I took a moment the other week to just reflect on all the pop up shops and shops and events that we've done. And I say we, I guess me, but thank you to everybody's helped. It's quite a few look, all the posters and also you know, I can achieve stuff. <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to do a record shop. But there you have it, everybody. So come on down. You know where we are. Thursday through Saturday, 11 till 5. I'm thinking of changing the hours. I'm thinking of doing every Sunday. I might start that in October and then run every Sunday up till Christmas. Um, stand by for a notification. Last thing to say is I have just spent some money to buy something absolutely stupid, massive, ridiculous, old, costly, difficult to maintain, but uber cool for the shop. Stand by. I'll, make it, I'll show you that in about a week or two. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a competition around using said device. Stay tuned. All right, oh, the other thing is, is Alice in Change um, just re-released Dirt. I'm getting a copy of that in, and what I'm gonna do is I've got the original, I've, I've got a repressed music on uh, vinyl in the late, early 2000s, and I've got the, um, a lot of the new one. I'll do a little comparison video. It's got some pretty decent hi-fi now, so we'll run through that and we'll, we'll check out what the sound difference is like for how good those videos are. We'll give it a go. All right, have a great weekend, everybody. Take care. See you in the shop. Bye-bye.